Hi, I'm Melvin Way, and this is my video mini-series on yellow onion germination. So this was an inadvertent experiment. Uh, my father visited uh, more than two months ago, and we bought a bunch of groceries, and I just kind of left these yellow onions uh, intact in my refrigerator. So there's very little light in the kitchen, and almost no light in the refrigerator. And what little there is, is nothing compared to natural sunlight in intensity. But plants that germinate from tuberous roots or bulbs, for example, don't need sunlight to germinate because naturally there would be no sunlight under the ground. I think that the moisture in this bag, along with the moisture in the refrigerator, refrigerators tend to have a lot of moisture in them, was sufficient in conjunction with just enough time to produce a germination response in these bulbs. So I left these in the refrigerator for 67 days and this is what happened. So this bulb on the right hasn't germinated yet. But this bulb on the left is more advanced. It has a bunch of roots coming out of the bottom and they're fairly robust, you know, they didn't get squished by just rolling around or anything like that. So the first order of business is I'm going to remove these outer layers of peel um, just so we can see what's underneath. Uh, they're shiny, more uh, lush layers that are still alive. And then I'm going to find suitable containers for growing these things in. I thought about hydroponics, but I'm thinking more towards just germinating them in, you know, water, water vapor. I'll show you later. Likewise, with this one on the right, you know, I can move a layer right now. Um, it's got a few dead layers. I can get rid of those. Onions are kind of fun that way. Um, but yeah, this shows no signs of germination, so I'll find the same kind of container that I'm going to use for the one on the left. So these are still cold. I just took them out of the refrigerator, so just the fact that I took them out of the refrigerator and, and putting them at room temperature means that they'll warm up and all their cells will become more metabolically active, thus speeding up germination. So the yellow onion is a popular variety. It's uh, very popular. It's used in French onion soup and it belongs to the genus Allium. So I think just the fact that I'm taking this out and putting it at room temperature means that this development will accelerate a lot. Probably by the time I wake up tomorrow, uh, these will be a lot longer. So if I had to guess, these are the dirty old roots that once came out of the bulb and these are the new roots. Alright, so what I just did is I cut off all the extraneous uh, dead skin, so to speak. And, you know, I don't know if this is mistake number one, but, you know, I'm, I don't think I'm hurting these onions. I think I'm just removing that dead layer. It's very fragrant underneath, and there's a little bit of juice. Um, I was very, very careful not to puncture any more layers. But, um, yeah, I think I caused of a tear right here in the next layer but this is such a robust structure that I doubt any of this will matter so one thing I was kind of worried about is if I didn't take off that red layer you know would that trap a lot of water and mold and pathogens in between it um, I'm not sure what's gonna happen but this seems to be a pretty fun project already so right here you can see these two root structures. So I think that's the beginning of the root system, the root apical meristems. Um, that could mean that this one is very close to germination as well. Usually the root system starts first before the shoot system. But the shoot system is usually what catches our eyes because it grows upwards and comes out of the soil. So I think uh, I'll count this as day 67 then. Although I'm sure these have been in the supermarket for a while. Okay, it's day 69 of this yellow onion germination experiment. So as you can see, the shoot system in the bulb that germinated is very green now. And I left these onions in this configuration in this bag um, since I peeled them two days ago. And what's happened is the areas that are more exposed um, turn this sort of reddish brown and the unexposed areas uh, are still you know look like they've just been peeled so 
So I don't quite know why that is, but I think that's just something about you know the way onions work. Uh, maybe they just respond to oxidation or just general exposure to the atmosphere. So if you keep removing layers, the outer layer becomes brown and brittle and dies and basically protects the rest of the bulb. And that makes some sense from you know a physiological standpoint because if there's a dead layer outside then if it's brittle and desiccated then it can't rot whereas if the outer layer just look juicy and supple like this insects and uh, pathogens like fungi would start infecting it and it could just probably rot through all the layers and go all the way to the core so here's a close-up of the bulb on the left and this is the ungerminated one. I don't know if there's any mold there. It doesn't really look like it or there just might be very very little. So what happened with this onion bulb is 24 hours after I took it out of the refrigerator and let it sit at room temp, sprayed some water in the bag, uh, the mold basically bloomed and you know it was kinda puffy all over the base. Um, kind of in this dead zone over here, like cotton. And so I think I should give everything a very good brief soaking in uh, some water containing Deconal, the fungicide I have. Okay, so I have this Deconal fungicide and my two onions and a Ziploc bag. So what I'm gonna do is spray some of this fungicide in the bag uh, slosh some tap water around in it and then put the onions in it and let them soak for a while. I haven't decided how long yet but it won't be too long. Definitely not more than a half an hour or anything like that. And then I'll just take them out, rinse them off and let them dry and see if they mold over again. So onions apparently float. I didn't know that. And you know I know there's a little bit of airspace in there but I wasn't aware that all these layers were basically kind of crispy and full of air. So, yeah, they just bobbed straight up in the back while I was filling it vertically. And now I'm just kind of laying it down sideways. But um, I squirted some Tecano in there multiple times and mixed it real well. So I'll let it soak for a while and empty the water out and we'll see what happens tomorrow. Here's a demonstration of how onions float. Okay, it's day 72 of this yellow onion germination experiment. There's been a lot of growth and the foliage is uh, very thick, sort of like that of succulents. It's very robust now and green. And the top of this onion bulb has turned a little bit green around the perimeter. And the outer layer of skin is no longer yellow, it's all kind of a golden brown. So what this container is, is uh, system I designed. I chopped off the top of a bottle. It can hold about two liters. And basically, there's uh, I use saran wrap around the perimeter to prevent evaporation through the gaps. It's a very crude device, but you know the water at the bottom will basically evaporate uh, due to the, the thermal energy from the surroundings. Um, even when there's no sun, if you've ever noticed when you put a plastic bottle um, indoors, even in a shady spot, it's going to do this. So there's a lot of condensation on the edges and the sides as you can see. Basically there are these fine beads of water condensation gathering along everywhere. So if I were to lift this onion up, I would expect the roots to have you know, droplets of water all over them. So let me try doing that right now. So, you know, I can't really tell. It doesn't look like there's... I can see some condensation here on the bottom side of this onion, but... I guess the roots will absorb whatever's on them. Um, you can see a little bit of water there. This is a system I designed keeping in mind that I want the roots to have plenty of opportunity for gaseous exchange and not just rot by being soaked in water. 
So here's the other onion. It still hasn't germinated on the top yet. So with regards to this other onion, I think there's some root development, but you know, it's kind of slow. I wouldn't say this thing is on the verge of germinating a shoot system yet. 